Hello you splendid lot, it's Gran here with another episode of a Vintage Story on the Rusty Gear server. Now then, as you can see the weather is atrocious and up at the top of the mountain you can't see a thing. So while I can't work up top I thought I'd concentrate on designing some lighting for the build. So I'm gathering some chalk stone to begin with as I've got a lot of it. But first I want to show you a little experiment I did to see if I could create a light with a light shade. I didn't intend to use it, but I did want to see what it would look like using a Jonas paintbrush to illuminate it. So this is how it developed and how I went on to design all the lights I would need for the build. Now if this works out, as I think it will, it's going to need six no, it's going to be, it's going to need eight pieces, eight, eight pieces to this lampshade, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. That's another corner there. That lantern in the middle is just to remind me not to go into that bit there, but there's going to be a different shape in the middle. I'm going to make that when I've done this. I just really want to have a go with the Jonas paintbrush and see what it looks like with something inside a shell with a patterned shell, if you know what I mean. So let's see how this goes. There we go. I'll probably have to do that that bit, that square bit in the middle. Don't want it to look square like that. Get rid of these. I won't set this right back. I'll just nibble these bits off, I think. layer on. Those two come out of there, that's it. This is much easier than I thought it would be. Nearly to the top, just got to bring these up as far as I can. Not sure what pattern this is going to be, I'm just going to wing it really. Okay, that's all of them done. So I want to add a little bit, or should I say, I want to take away a little bit more. If it'll let me, without making a great big gap. I just want that all the way around. I want it to look like it's attached to that. I think it does. I'm going to take as much as I can off here, actually. Diagonals are always tricky, but I think this should work. Come from the bottom up now. Can I go in there? I think I can. And bring that over as well. Oh, uh, yeah, that bit. Get rid of those. Okay. I want to replace it, so let's take that and then, right, and then use this to just turn that round, there we go, and then same on this side, okay, alright, I'm quite liking that, I think that's beginning to look like a chain. Uh, yeah, I, so it doesn't look like that much of a square. I just want to take that and then probably in there. There we go. Same on the other side. Right, there we go. I think that's, I think that's okay. Now I'm using my plots model for this, but in a different way because I'm sort of working in reverse, really. Okay, that's coming on, I think. 
Let's pop that there so I can see this a bit better. I'm going to put it on here. Yeah, I think that's coming on, I think. I think we're getting there. Now, I don't have to do the whole of this. I could use the replace ship if I take that half off and that one off. I need to just finish this side. I think that is okay now. So, uh, now, which one is it? Do I have to rotate it? Uh, okay, that's rotated. Just a minute, I'm using the wrong one here, aren't I? I need to use my pantograph. That's what I need. And I want to add shape mode. So, ah, I did it. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Now then, now then, can I get this in there? Just place that. Oh, yeah, I can. That is so cool that I can do that. Right, so what I'm going to do now is use my Jonas paintbrush. I'm going to use this for the very first time. I've got my white paint in there. Oh, it lit up. Look at that. Okay, I want this. Is it right click? Is it right click? <gasps> oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. That is so, so nice. I love it. Now, I wanted to do a sconce next because this was going to go in a lot of places in the build. And I'll just explain a little bit of what I did. So, first of all, I reduced it. I always find it, it easier working with something quite thin. Then I thought it has to go on a wall. So this bit needs to be flat, but it needs to be wide enough to look good on the wall. Then I started working on the inside, making the shape and the, the, the sconce that I was trying to make had an arm that sort of curved down and then curved up again and then the light would go on the top. As I went along, I tried to create some depth in it as well. So I tried to create it in layers which I found was a little bit distracting, really. And I kept adding layers and taking them away and then adding them again. In the end, I decided to whittle it down, make it much thinner so I could see what sort of shape I was creating. I could always add some depth a little bit later on, but it was much easier and much simpler when it was much thinner. And this was the bit that the light would sit on. And I really wanted to make it as if it was holding, that the actual sconce was holding a light above it. So I took this right down to the base where the light would sit on. In my head, it would sit on. And I actually wanted this to be a sort of a roundish shape. But we were playing about with 
very few voxels here, so it wouldn't be, it wouldn't look roundish. Here, I wanted to create um, sort of like a spiral um, holder, so light fingers sort of spiraling round the light. It was a bit tricky because there weren't, as I said, there weren't many voxels to play with here, and I didn't want to make it look too bulky. But I played around with it quite a bit. I could see these holding fingers were sort of going out a little bit too wide. So I needed to bring those in a little bit and just hoped that I left enough space in the middle for an adequate light. I was also getting the feeling that the chalk rock wasn't the right thing to use for this sconce. And I felt like it should be a, a bolder, darker colour. And probably with a little bit of texture to it. So rubbaging through the different chests that I had sample blocks in. There, there were quite a lot to choose from. But the slate cobblestone kept, kept catching my eye. I wondered if the slate rock, the raw rock, would do. But it was a bit, well, it was a bit smooth. The other rock that could have done was the um, the shale, but I wasn't quite sure of the colour of that. I mean, the slate gave to me gave it sort of like a bronzy look, and I quite liked that. But I liked the cobblestone. I quite liked that. So I thought I'd take that and have a go with that. So starting to change over to the slate cobblestone, I totally forgot that I had a tool that with one click could change all the chalk into the block of choice. And that was the paintbrush. Not the Jonas paintbrush, the ordinary paintbrush. So after whizzing off and getting that, Again, I'm never sure whether it's a left click or a right click. So I gave it a bit of a bash first. <laughs> and with one click, it was all slate cobblestone. And I really liked the look of it. I could see the light in there and I could see those fingers grabbing hold of the light. Quite like that. I used pack dirt again for the light source to paint with the Jonas paintbrush. Just so that it was so different to anything else and I wouldn't make a mistake in which part of the block I needed to paint. So I started adding that. And just building it up from the middle. And I wanted it to look like sort of a flame, if I could. Again, with so many, well, with so few voxels, it was gonna be a little bit of a trial to do that. And then of course, I needed another block on top for the top bit of it. Because I'd reached the top of the block that I'd been working with. A bit too much there. So that was my sort of interpretation of a flame. <laughs> so now I wanted to see what it would look like painted with the Jonas paintbrush. So I had my white dyeing spot one, I had my Jonas paintbrush and a right click turned it into a light and I thought that was so cool. Absolutely fantastic. So I worked on it a little bit more, now I could see the light behind it and I wanted those spirals to actually hug it a little bit more. So I added a few more voxels, I quite liked, look, I quite liked seeing them on the side of the light, that was quite cool, I quite liked that. So I whizzed off to the build to see it in place 
on one of the beams. And I really liked the look of it. I really did. So now, because I'd need a lot of these, I needed a way of replicating them. And I had heard about the extended workbench. But I'd never used it. So I thought now was a good time. It was quite simple to make. It only needed required boards. And looked very interesting when I, uh, when I placed it. It just needed a chisel in it and the block that you wanted to copy and it told you or reminded you what blocks you needed to replicate it. So once you put those in, you just right click on the table and it actually makes it for you. And that is awesome. Why I'd never used this before, I had no idea. I am quite shy of using new stuff, but I really, really need to jump on the bandwagon a bit quicker. <laughs> so I copied all the pieces for the scones. I made about a dozen. And then I made sure that I saved it to my portfolio and I've just started doing that. Because I might use it again for another build and I wouldn't have to redesign it all. Because it all, it's all about time, isn't it? I haven't yet found how to get my portfolio up yet though. I don't know if it's because we're not in the version that we can do it in, but my P, which is supposed to be the default um, key, doesn't bring the portfolio up. So... Right. So I just copied the basic scones and then, and then I applied the Jonas paintbrush with the white paint to it. Now, the weather wasn't very good on this occasion and it was a bit misty, so you couldn't see them at their brightest. And when I took the lantern out of my top left slot, yeah, it, they weren't very effective for lighting. I did hope that if it wasn't so misty, they might be a bit brighter. So another thing I've decided to do as well is to make sure that I save the first version of whatever I design, because I think that would come in quite handy. So I'll pop the sconce on the wall. And I wouldn't use the paintbrush on this. This would be the basic sconce. There we go. I quite like that. In the daylight, you could see them better. And I think they look fab. I really liked them. I like the style of them. I like the curve of them. I like how much light there is. And it all goes to create an atmosphere. Yeah, I liked them a lot. Well, I didn't want to stop there. Now I'd done that. And I thought I'd like to try and design something that would fit nicely in a big space. And this build would have plenty of those. I thought of creating a teardrop. And I used the sphere that I did for the first lantern as the basis for it. And similar to the sconces, I wanted the light part of it to be held by spiral sort of fingers around it. So I started with the underside of the sphere and I wanted to bring it down into a sort of a point and then I thought all I'd need to do was turn it right side up. So that's what I aimed for. Using my planer, I planed the bottom bit down as much as I could and I wanted to get a sort of a shape down at the bottom coming to a point. 
So I worked on taking away voxels and adding voxels like you do until the shape came. And I was quite pleased, I think, with how it was developing. So once I got a shape that I thought I wanted, I used the wedge tool to turn it round. And you do need to be careful with the wedge tool because the actual voxel that you place as your target needs to be the plane that you want to rotate. And then all they needed to do was to replace the big bit on the bottom. And that wasn't too bad at all. Now I needed to work on the top bit. And again, I chose to use a slate cobblestone for that. It was a bit tricky getting it to look right because obviously it was an asymmetrical design. Um, and so it looked different from different angles. But I played around with it until I ended up with something that I was happy with. Because it looks so heavy, I felt that the the fingers that were holding it needed to be extended further down the actual into the onto the sphere part of it. Because I wanted it to look like it would be able to hold it up. And I plan to create a chain on the top to hold it. I mean it looked like it would be heavy if it was, you know, a real thing. So I wanted it to look like it was properly supported. I sort of copied off the earlier lantern that I did, made a few minor adjustments until I was happy with what it looked like. I don't think you can do much wrong with creating a chain. I think a chain's a chain, isn't it, really? But I wanted something I could replicate. And again, I kept the original just as it was. And I, <laughs> for some reason, I was quite chuffed with that. There was this area here that was a bit messy. So I decided that I'd tidy that up a little bit and have that a little bit more uniform. And once I'd done that, I felt that that was much better. And I have no idea if I'm actually going to use this in the build or not. It was an idea that came to me and I wanted to try it out. I'd like to think I would find somewhere fitting for it, but we'll see. I haven't actually applied the Jonas paintbrush to this one yet, so I don't know exactly what it looks like. But I'd like to think it would look quite nice illuminated with the Jonas paintbrush and the white paint. But we shall see. I already had an idea for my next design, which was going to be a candlestick holder. Um, let's make more into chiseled blocks. Let's go with... No, didn't want that one there. Oh, there. So I'm going to take three off. Uh, there, probably. Right, okay. That should be a square. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, yeah. And I'm just going to whittle this down. It needs to be quite small.
there it will have to be about like that let's do a bit of that and bring it out the bottom there's a chicken somewhere there's a rooster I might have to bring this out more, it depends what the top bit ends up looking like, but we shall see. Let's have a look. So I'm going to take this in a bit more. Right, so that is now two voxels wide. Okay, probably a look. No, it's still too wide. It would have to be like that, I think. And I don't know if I've got enough voxels to do what I want to do with this. But we'll see what we can come up with. is going to stem from this shape so all this to me is clutter and then I want to draw the lines oh I think I'd like that to come out a little bit more here before it goes up to that like that that's and it. I'd like this on I'm going to start on on that side so I'm going to take this side off come up uh, probably there and come up uh, like to come out like to come up and bring that up there let's have a look yeah yeah yeah, we'll have another one there. Like that. That's it. Okay. Oops, it is. Eh? And another one on the other side, just like this one. Comes out. Here, I don't know if I've done three or two on there. What have I done? Oh, yeah, I've done two. Uh, I think I'd like them to come off this. Know that they're going to meet in the middle and I don't want that. Could I have them... maybe I could have them intersecting. Could I have that? There. And then... Like that. Uh, take that one out. Two. What about that? Does that look odd there? I don't think I wanted those on. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The next thing is this on top, yeah? So I've got one on that side and one on that side and I've got to whittle those down to tiny, tiny candles. Those should be white, shouldn't they? Those should be candlesticks and then this should be this on the top. That's what it is. Oh dear, what am I like? Do I have the candles... Let's do the candles quite like that and then we could possibly have two of those on. Is that going to look odd? 
Let's have a look. I think that's going to be all right, actually. So I'm reach that one, two, three, four, five, six. There's one here, though. That's me. I keep forgetting. One, two. Oops. Two, three, four, five, six, and then one, two. There we go. What about that? What does that look like? Maybe one on this side. This one, probably. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Take them off and put that on. So look, what's that look like? So I'm going to have one, one here, and we'll have one here, and we're going to have one here. Oh, okay, let me just get that off. And I need to put it on the other side, that's better. And then this one goes on here. There we go. And then that looks like it might be on the right. This looks like it's on the left. But will it with? Oh yeah, it will. And then this looks like it's on the right. So that should go on there. Right, so now I want my Jonas Bait brush. Pop all these up there. And then I want my white paint or dye. Right, and I just want the tips. Look at that! <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh my goodness. Really like it. Right, we've got two voxels wide. Two. Okay. Okay, we'll start at the bottom, I think. Right, I want this to be quite delicate. Just put blocks here for my outlines. Let's work up to the lantern, I think. If I can work up to the lantern, I think it might give me some perspective. Okay, so this is going to be the hanging lantern bit. I'm going to do this now. Just want to get this outside bit done. And then we can add some depth to this bit. Make it look like a proper lantern then. wants to want to try and curl this around I want it to look like a curl like let's get those out there this, this I just want to take that bit off there and see what that looks like As this is the main curve for the whole thing so this to look right. A bit more down there. I think that's it's not looking too bad actually. Get all this uh, unwanted bit, all this middle bit has to come out. I 
think that's about where I want it for the feet. I'd like to actually do this lantern just so it looks like a lantern. Uh, I think we need some more that dirt in there. Replace it with that, I think. Right, let's start here. And most of this is going to be packed dirt. Oops, a daisy. Opening my chests. Some more layers now, I think. Yeah, we've done that now. I think that's a good shape, I think. Right, now I want to frame it if I can. So I want some of the frame coming down. Whoops! Oh, this food goes really quick when you're concentrating. I've just eaten. Nope, that's no good. I want it over there. There we go. I think that's okay. I'm going to add this on for a bit of depth. Uh, just to give it a little bit more of a rounded look. And bring this down the middle. Of course it hasn't got a middle. I've created that middle. But it doesn't matter that it's not symmetrical, yeah? How's that look? That looks alright. I want to curve this round as well. Uh, let's go around that way instead. And get this leg done at the back here. Yeah, that's coming on. Let's have a look. Let's uh, let's thin this out. I think it's looking a bit too bulky now. Actually, I think I'll take that bulkiness off. Let's get rid of this, and I might have made this a bit too bulky as well. I think I might have to pare this down. Let's just see what it looks like. This. There we go. And that. Hmm. Yeah, it's too bulky. I just don't like it. Let's get this off. Yeah, that looks so much better with it off, actually. Get this middle bit out. Another bit there. Let's have a look. No, it's better without, I think. Get that off there. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Right, just one more curl in here. Can I if I fit this in this space? So I'm limited here. Let's get this. Uh, can't get up. Right. Oh, this is a small curl, is this? Let's just put that there. Can I get that on top there? Can I get another one in there? Can I get another one in? Oh, opening chests again. Yeah, I think I can actually. 
Yeah. 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 Okay, so now I would like as my thingy here. I would like my Jonas paintbrush. <gasps> Look, it's nearly dead. And this. Uh, where is going to go? There. And I've still got some white in there, I'm going to. Yeah. So this is going to go here. Look at that. I'm not quite sure about this one, to be honest. Not sure about that one. Well, that's just about it for this episode. I know I changed the order of the videos around a bit because I was going to show you the bit where I had developed the top of the stairs and the bridge and the pond area. That's what I mentioned at the end of the last video. But I did want to show you the designs for these lanterns and the sconces and the hanging lantern and the candlestick holders. I really did want to show you how I developed those. I hope you didn't mind me putting that in first. Let me know what you think of them. Is there another design you would have done instead? Let me know. I'll be interested to hear it. So in the next video, I shall be showing you further development of the build. So take care, everybody, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.